What? Okay. What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Today's progress, yesterday's plan. This is episode 15, and this is a really special episode for me. This is what I'll call the wrap up episode, the season finale, where this journey is coming to an end. Next week, we'll have the final episode, another really special episode where I have the crew out again. If you've seen some of the previous episodes, you see that I've been able, with the help of my buddies who are also content creators, take these podcasts out into, I'll say, the wild. We were out uh, camping and we set up two episodes with everybody's gear and input and I had four guests on at one time and we had some cool conversations in the wilderness and a podcast that we put together out in the wild. So that's really exciting for me. And it's coming to an end. So today is going to be the wrap up. I want to thank all of you for tuning in, listening, uh, watching. Um, for those that have subscribed, thank you. This has been an amazing journey. And uh, let's get to it, right? So uh, there's one more episode. So make sure you watch next week is a really cool episode also out in the wild. Um, what can I say? This has been a great journey. If you were here from the beginning, you all know that uh, the title of the podcast, Today's Progress, Yesterday's Plan, started as like an exercise for me, as a challenge um, for myself to practice being on camera, practice dialogue, practice speaking to an audience, because I'm on a journey to um, position myself and brand myself as a video host. And I've been developing content along the way. And I want to give a big shout out to my coach, Nicole Sellers. I'm part of her green room, small coaching group. It has been very helpful to me. It has helped me uh, practice, develop my brand, and most importantly, find that niche that I'm pushing my brand in and developing in. I think for as long as I've been in production and helping others and other brands and businesses do exactly that, position themselves and their brand. I've never exactly done it for myself. And a lot of people know me as uh, maybe for a while they knew me as the car guy, right? I was involved in motorsports for a long time, worked for an automotive PR agency, developed a website around drifting and motorsports. I was known as the car guy. Um, I was known as and I still am as like a production guy, a digital, you know, media guy. And even when people mention like, yeah, you're the uh, tech guy or you're the uh, the video guy. So it's like very broad what I've been into. And as good as that is, it, I've never really niched into something. The closest I've gotten, which I've been very excited for, was uh, traveling. And I've uh, produced several travel segments for the TV show, California Life HD. Very thankful for those opportunities and my executive producer there, Heather Dawson. That has helped uh, myself to create a brand, Travel Aerials, around travel and taking advantage of those experience, experiences that I've been on to produce content for uh, travel organizations and travel brand. But again, even within that scope of industry, the travel industry, I've, I never even really niched it down there. So I've, I've even struggled there, um, not to mention the pandemic happening and really putting like a halt on the travel industry. And really because I wasn't very niched in it, it was more difficult for me to continue during these times, which a lot of successful brands have and have been able to adapt and continue to create content and things but it wasn't like I wasn't niched and I'm and I keep on cliching that word niche, niche, niche. But really, this project of today's progress, yesterday's plan was a very successful project because um, I've learned a lot along this small journey and I had my aha moment and have niched myself into another new project that I feel 100% behind and confident and I feel clarity on the moves that I'm doing forward from this point on. 
So because this is the last podcast, it doesn't mean that my journey and my content is going to be over. I'm going through like a metamorphosis, if you'll call it right, a a transition. This has been a great experiment. And I encourage all of you watching or listening to also move forward on experiments and projects and, and really look for completion, set goals, set dates and, and meet them. Right. I think when we have such a broad idea of what we want to do and we're not clear on it and we don't have focus on it and you don't find the niche, you keep on that path, not knowing where it's going to end or stop. And hopefully while you're on that path, you look for that aha moment and you find that clarity because when you do, now you know where you're going next. So for me in this case, today's progress, yesterday's plans coming to an end. I'm excited. It's the first quarter of the year's coming to an end. So it's a great time to finish this project. It's a complete series, an episode 16 series, 16 episode series I'm excited about. And I got it under my belt. I learned a lot of things. I learned a lot of things about planning and strategizing. Um, It's been great for planning and keeping my checklist going. Sometimes it's very organized. Sometimes it's a little messy. And it's cool because I just see how these ideas are coming together, but they don't find the right funnel. Now I have that funnel. And um, I've learned about uh, podcasts, for example. That's another service that I'm adding to my uh, repertoire, another um, leg, if you will, or vertical within my category that is going to be included in this new project moving forward. So I'm, I'm stoked. I'm really stoked about it because it's not over. Again, this is just the end of this season. And maybe some point down the road, I do another season for today's progress, yesterday's plan with a new concept, better development. Um, again, just progressing each time better and better. So I hope that's encouraging to you guys. As I continue speaking, I'll say um, if you guys have kept up with me on the podcast, if you follow me on Instagram, for example, at Sharkario, you'll, you, you would have seen that my latest venture and project that I've been developing is called Mezcal Buzz. And if the name doesn't tell you already, it's based around Mezcal. It's a project that is called, uh, well, it's called Mezcal Buzz, but it's a platform, it's a media platform, a media outlet that is going to be available for different uh, brands, different organizations, experiences um, around Mezcal. And I've already launched the website I'm working on content for it, writing. It's going to be in English. Some content will be in Spanish. All of the videos will have Spanish subtitles. I'm gearing it towards the U.S. English speaking market to create more awareness about the Mexican spirit mezcal. And um, yeah, I have like been planning and writing along this whole journey, again, with the guidance of my coach and The workshops that we've been in have really helped bring that clarity and I'm excited to to be moving forward with it now and speaking about it. So if you're interested, check it out. It's called Mezcal Buzz on Instagram. You could visit MezcalBuzz.com. Look for the different types of videos that will be coming out. So still going to be doing travel and I'm excited about that because now I've found that niche within travel. So I'll be traveling to destinations that um, produce mezcal and checking out different mezcal makers, um, hospitality and experiences around mezcal. There's nine different states. I think as of 2018, there's 12 different states now that produce mezcal and um, variations of the agave distilled spirit. So I'm still going to be in that same um, vertical of travel, just more niche now. Um, I'll be doing another podcast that'll be coming out. Um, Still thinking of the exact name for it, but it's basically going to be mezcal tasting with a special guest. Hopefully I get in touch with some celebrities, some influencers, and we're going to just talk while we taste different mezcales. Um, Think along the lines of hot ones, if you've seen that. Along those lines, minus the challenge aspect of it, but uh, 
We'll be tasting different mezcales, trying different appetizers and pairings with them, and discovering new brands. The amazing thing is that I'm, I'm pretty passionate about this spirit and how it exposes uh, me and others through the lens to different parts of the Mexican Republic and different mezcal makers of all walks of life. I'm going to be doing uh, mezcal tastings and reviews. So you see some bottles here that I'm collecting. I have a lot more stashed away that I'm, I'm looking forward to tasting them, but also speaking about them and bringing them to the audience to learn about it. Um, especially again, there in the US is where my target audience is. And I'm coming from Mexico City, south of the border, where I have access to a lot of different mezcal makers and brands that I want to bring awareness to. Not just your, um, you know, your celebrity brands that come out there. The mezcal space is getting filled up now. Um, a lot of you may not be familiar with it. A lot of you may have heard about mezcal, but um, the celebs are getting in there. So it's, look out for it. It's not just uh, the celebrity tequilas anymore. So, um, you know, we got celebrities dabbling into the mezcal world too. And I just want to expose everybody to those brands as well as the endless brands of mezcal that exist um, in Mexico. So we'll be speaking with uh, mezcal makers and again, brands and stuff. Um, another side of it is going to be digital tastings until we're really cleared in this pandemic to start doing um, private or uh, tastings in present, right? Present tastings. And I've already acquired some partners and some um, organizations to be moving forward with this project. So stay tuned in the next week or two, I think April 1st um, or April 7th in the next few weeks, we're going to be launching our first uh, digital tasting. And it's going to be a collaboration between um, some partners that I've found and we've come together and I'll make an official, uh, official announcement soon as well, which is uh, going to be um, different locations, digital. So I'll be here in Mexico City, um, working with local mezcaleria shops, influencers, and other types of boutiques. We're going to be out in Oaxaca with my partners who are going to be speaking to the mezcal makers, have special brands that are going to be participating. And in this next one, for example, we're going to be out in Merida, Yucatan with a mixologist at a bar. And we're going to just um, be speaking about mezcal and the different mezcales that we'll be tasting, opportunities that we're going to be offering for the audience. Um, I'll just say that being in the mezcal world, investing in a mezcal brand or your own mezcal is not only for the celebrities and the upper class. So I'm going to be bringing a very cool opportunity where if you're interested yourself to invest in a, a property or a brand around mezcal or agave with some guaranteed return or developing a brand and learning about it and bringing out, we're going to have those opportunities and experiences for you to come out, learn about it and decide whether you want to get involved as well. So if that interests you, differ, definitely contact me or stay tuned as this develops and rolls out. So I'm really excited about that as well. Um, and uh, I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of like the brand that's that's coming out. So I'm excited for that. That's like the transition from this project. So backtracking a little bit again, it started off as as a practice session for me, right? It started off as a, a challenge for me to uh, bring content out each week. And um, I stopped doing my weekly content besides the podcast. I stopped doing my three videos a week, right? So my challenge when I started this year going into this first quarter was three videos a week. I'm going to practice batching videos, writing content, planning out my content schedule and have three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I kept that up for the most, I will say like 80% of this first uh, quarter, I was coming out with a new video every Monday on Sharkario, my channel, uh, Sharkario. And uh, um, they were like tech videos, reviews, a couple how to's around tech. It was around tech because that was the easiest thing that was accessible to me. And also on Wednesdays, I was doing walking tours where I would strap on the GoPro 
and go around Mexico City to different neighborhoods as I um, narrated walking through the different neighborhoods. And they're interesting videos to do and I kept it up every Wednesday. You could find them on the channel. And then every Friday, Today's Progress, Yesterday's Plan podcast. And I've kept it up. I was doing really well. Uh, last uh, two weeks, I traveled and I was uh, in California for a few weeks. That kind of put a challenge and a halt into my batching of the videos. And it was also around the time that I had my final like aha confirmation moment and realizing that sometimes we have to close cycles, right? And move on from them. And so I didn't feel like, oh, I stopped, you know, producing videos each week. I felt, I feel, um, not content, but I feel the word I'm looking for. Help me out, guys. Shoot some words towards. I feel um, that, I, that I found clarity and I feel confident in this decision to stop the the um, the batching for for this content because I'm not going to continue to produce content as much and as frequently on this channel. I'm going to do it on the now mezcal buzz channel and all that effort that I was putting into my batching in the three videos per week. It was a lot of effort. It was hard. It was difficult. It was a challenge to keep up with that challenge. But again, my videos were kind of um, broad. They were not centralized exactly around an idea. And so I'm going to take that effort that I was putting into producing that content exclusively 100% into this um, brand. So it's my personal passion project. I'm still going to work for the clients that I have. I'm still working on a lot of other projects with other um, partners and clients and things like that. But as far as like my own branded content is going to be focused all that energy into this new project and brand. And so this quarter, again, I, I learned so much. I've, I've learned from trying to do three videos a week. I got a good idea of how to plan out my videos and strategize how I'm going to, one, make the right connections with the right individuals that I want to collaborate with. There's definitely a strategy to collaboration. Also, how I'm going to synchronize time and scheduling and production for these videos. So all of them, everything is going to be part of a series planned out, um, whether it's with a summary or a rundown or scripts, it's just going to be planned out to just knock it out. I'm not going to treat every video now like one video fun project. I'm, I'm working on a bigger picture here and I'm excited to collaborate with people and strategize and plan it out. And that's all of the stuff that I've learned along the way here. And so um, if you guys ever have doubt, so a tip from me, and and I say this because in, even in my group coaching sessions, um, the other creators there that have great ideas and great brands, and we all have that doubt of where to go, how to move forward, or we say, oh, I need to start doing this, right? Or I need to start making these videos, or I gotta start doing a video week. Like, yeah, you do. You do have to start. And so just start because we hold ourselves back because sometimes we don't, we have either self-doubt or we're not clear on exactly what we want to do. And if you're not that clear yet, like do everything then. Like I, like I did this first quarter, I just picked three ideas. I just started, I was like, I'm going to produce three videos a week. If you watch them all, they're not all the best. They're not all the best. But it's okay because I learned from them and I use that as a stepping stone now that I'm going to implement in this next phase that I'm moving into the second quarter. And I have plans and I have small steps that I'm doing there and I, I'm making sure that I'm not holding myself back thinking bigger than what the immediate possibilities are. I'm thinking big, like I have some big ideas in my head and I'm heading that way. But I don't want to move too fast or I don't want to try to attract them so soon to where I discourage myself and it's like, oh, I can't achieve that in this time. Like the big ideas are coming. The big ideas will come. All you got to do is just take the next steps, next steps, make it better. Like this next podcast I do for um, the Mezcal, I already, I mean, I've been investing 
and some more equipment. I've been investing right now in bottles and, um, you know, little accessories and props, backdrops, like building a small set that I can build within my means, within my space, and within the equipment I have, what will work to get me able to produce a full series. Once that series is done, it's done. And I'm gonna move on to the next one. And hopefully this one, I continue series one, series two, or I'm sorry, season one, season two, and then they'll get better. So they'll get better. I'll catch the attention of bigger brands, of better, um, of new partners, build new relationships and collaborations that will allow the content to get better. But if I set that goal to, I want this first one to be like this and set that bar up there, then I have to keep like, you have to keep practicing. And if you don't put it out there, I mean, keep practicing and watching your content until you feel confident enough to put it out there. But I mean, I'd say just put it out there and see it like it develops with your audience, you know, like don't hold yourself back. Um, I've heard the quote that says, before I could do it awesome in front of a thousand people, I had to do it in front of myself a thousand times. And so I took that strategy into this first season of the podcast. I was doing it in front of myself, in front of this camera here that I was going to go back and watch post it on my channel and listen to it. And I just started putting it out there and then speaking about it and learning that you got to speak your ideas. So I feel you have to speak your ideas. So you act on your ideas, right? And then believe your ideas. People say, fake it till you make it. And I'm not really down with that. I'm totally not down with that because it ain't about being fake. What I like that I heard similar to that, that I, I follow is, Believe it to achieve it. So like put out your ideas, believe your ideas, speak to others about your idea with passion. If you don't feel that passion and excitement and could keep talking about it, it might be a sign that it might not be the right thing. But if you don't speak about it and put it out in practice, you don't realize that. So it's good to realize it. And I want to encourage all of you to pursue those ideas pursue practice and then practice with others. Find a group, find a coach, find um, somebody that could vibe with you and interact with you and give you guidance. I, if you're in the same journey as myself of hosting, being on camera, whether you're a business owner or you want to be a personality and develop content, I will encourage you to look up uh, the program with my coach, Nicole Sellers. I'm, I'm a um, brand advocate. I've, I've, I've come a long way in a short amount of time with working with my coach. So I highly encourage you to do the same and get your ideas, put them on paper, get some documents, write them out and strategize your plan and your next steps. For all you creatives out there as well that have ideas and you, you want to have, like, I have an idea for this video. Cool. And then go do a video and then do it. But have an idea for a series. Have an idea for multiple videos. Have ideas that you put on paper. And it's not just the idea to make something. It's the idea to make something and then share something, right? Like distribution. What you want to do with it. So those are my thoughts. Those are my takeaways my successes and what I've learned in this journey of today's progress, yesterday's plan. I want to thank you for having been a part of it. I look forward to you sticking along and following me on Instagram at Sharkario. Follow at mezcalbuzz or at mezcalbuzz, mezcalbuzz.com. If you're interested in learning more about the Mexican spirit, where you can get it, maybe investing in it yourself of all the opportunities that exist around it. Stay tuned. And again, thank you for joining me on this journey. It's not over. It's just the end of season one. And we'll catch you on the next one. And with that said, I'm going to leave everybody with the shot of one of my favorite mezcales here from a local mezcaleria Mano Santa. And it's a reposado with pechuga. Mm, my mouth just watered. 
So you guys stay tuned. I'll catch you next time on the next episode. And thanks again. Peace.